Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Champions League jersey review for 23-24. As always I will uh, go through all the teams that are present in uh, the Champions League group stage. I will stretch it out this time over four vi videos, two groups for each video. The jerseys in here are as usually graded on a scale from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best and the pictures that we're looking at are all taken from Football Kit Archive. Now, since this is a European uh, review, I'm actually planning uh, to mostly focus on the European looks, especially for the teams from the top leagues, where I will have them dedicated league jersey reviews later on. Uh, namely, that is uh, England, this is Germany, this is Italy, this is Spain, this is France and the Netherlands. So for those, I will focus on the European look. For the other teams uh, that have a regular home jersey and a European home jersey, for instance, I will present you all of it because we will not get to look at these uh, later on again. So therefore, let's have it uh, this way and I'll cover a few more jerseys. Now, I will, as I said, go group by group. We'll start in group A, then with group B, as in this video, C and D are in part two, uh, and so on and so forth. And then within each group, I'll take an order that is vaguely alphabetically, but mostly of how I call these teams. And I would say we'll get straight started in group A. The seeded team here was Bayern Munich, and it's already one of the most um, interesting, contentious, whatever you would like, home jerseys that uh, have been released this season. Because while well, Bayern stay true to the promise that they will only release now red and white jerseys, well, red was meant to be the main color, not white. And so we have a reverse Arsenal look, if you would like uh, to say. I have to say, if this was released as an away jersey, this might have been one of the best Bayern away jerseys released in a long, 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 long time. As a home jersey, I guess I go where I see where they're going. I know there's also some historic precedent there because they had had white jerseys, especially in the 30s with the red sleeves. However, the, uh, the tone was a little bit darker, like the one for the Bayern jersey that I have up there. So I am not quite sold, but it's not a bad jersey. What also the um, uh, shoulder yokes uh, do is that the side arm, underarm patching here. Uh, is actually kind of hid, hid in a way which makes a jersey a lot more pleasing to look at. I just cannot get really over the color, but as a jersey, honestly, I probably have to go, yeah, uh, let's go six because of, of, of the color. If this was a home jersey uh, and a proper home home jersey, I probably would have gone seven. Uh, the away jersey is also one where I'm not quite sure where to go with it. it I do not identify this as a proper Bayern home jersey by the look of it. Yes, the overall theme is a uh, we are a worldwide club, so there is a map of the world on there. For instance, under the T, you can clearly see the specs uh, make out a map of Africa a little bit uh, over. You see uh, the Americas and then Europe and Asia. Uh, it is uh, very abstract, but if you know what it is, you can make it out. Um, it also helps that the um, logos are all in white, um, but I'm not so sold on the color scheme with purple and green. I know there's some inclusivity theme in there, but overall, yeah, I think I like the idea of the jersey. I probably would have preferred this more as a third jersey than as a proper away jersey. That is uh, a special jersey than a proper away jer uh, uh, jersey. Again, Adidas doing nice things. If this was an away jersey, I probably would go as high as eight. Again, I'm not quite happy with it. Honestly, I, I, for me, it does not identify as a Bayern jersey. Is this a bad jersey? No, it is not, but it's not a Bayern jersey, if you know what I, what I mean. So I'm again going with six here. Um, and then the third jersey, yeah, I would identify this more as a Bayern jersey. However, it is, uh, I don't like it, honestly. Uh, it's a little bit too bland. I don't like the colors. They, they took a very, very old style uh, crest, you know, the letter logo, which I don't think is particularly attractive. Uh, the color scheme is fine, but it leaves me very, very cold. I think it's rather uh, boring, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go four here. I think Bayern could have done much better. Uh, we go then a little bit north from Bayern to Copenhagen. Uh, 
here is the league home jersey uh, with the Unibail Boba sponsor in the Champions League. It's worn without sponsor. And as weird as it is, I actually think it looks a little bit better with a sponsor. Without, it is a little bit too bland. Overall, you know, Adidas template, nothing wrong there, but nothing e e exciting. I find uh, interesting with the, the black uh, instead of, uh, or dark blue instead of the rare, regular blue gives it a little bit of an interest. But overall, it's a run of the mill five star jersey uh we can say at um now we cannot say the same thing about the away jersey jersey which is actually interesting again it has a sponsor uh in the, in the league it comes without and here i think it works without sponsor i actually like the colors um uh, the red makes sense because it is the danish flag although maybe it would have looked better with white up there but i think um i like the overall pattern although it's a if you look at it it's repetitive which kind of is again defeats the purpose of it a little bit but it might be the nicest jersey we've looked at so far i'm gonna give this a seven star rating and then the third jersey yeah Again, it's, it's only the league, league version. Uh, leaves me cold. I don't necessarily like the colors. Yes, there's white and there's also black in there. Um, I guess they need one. But to me, there's too little contrast to either of the other two, if I'm honest as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for here. Let's go over to Turkey for Galatasaray's latest home effort. And I really like the Galatasaray half and half look. I think it has great colors. The one thing that I would like to see Galatasaray do is that they have the classic look, meaning that the sleeves are then also alternating so that uh, on the yellow side you have a red sleeve, on the red side you have a yellow sleeve, and of course then should be switched. And the template for Nike would allow for that, as we will see for other teams. And so I think this is a really big chance missed. Other than that, I think it's a pretty cool look. Um, it comes with a uh, sponsor, a soccer sponsor in the Champions League. Of course, um, think it looks fine here we'll talk about more about uh, uh with it and at, at the away jersey but i think it's a decent jersey but i think it's again a little bit of a chance missed but i overall li li like to give it seven uh if we go uh, to the away jersey yeah it's almost too templatey and then it has a really ugly sponsor uh which i don't have a big big, big picture of yet but maybe i can uh, move on in uh, that's a little bit too color color colorful. Um, I guess the gray shoulders give it a bit more interest, but on the other side, yeah, I'm not so I'm not so super sauce or something. I also would say this is more of a five star here. Um, the away jersey is just your typical black jer uh, jer jersey, and we know they will probably have a different um, a sponsor as well. I think this, uh, this is a repeat from the last season, as far as I know. Black for black sake, I'm gonna go five. Um, the, what I really like is, and I only have this uh, leaked image for now, is the fourth jersey, which is a celebration, will probably not be worn in the um, uh, Champions League, but that one is a great looking shirt. Uh, it's not a classic Galatasaray look, but it is a historic look. Uh, I really like it. I think I really like uh, the idea of it. Uh, so I'm gonna go with nine stars for that one. And then that leaves us in Group A with United. And there's a lot to like about this United home shirt. Adidas really went all out, putting a lot of uh, different themes in there. Uh, you see the rose pattern all over, uh, which is also reflected in the color, which, which, which of course, um, a symbol of the region where Manchester is lying in. So I really, really like that one. Um, the one I like even the color. I'm just not sure, do we need that much black? For me, a United home jersey, I like United with a touch of black, but I think a little bit more white is what I know. Yes, there comes a lot of white in from uh, the sponsor and so on and the logos, but I also would like to have at least one of the stripes here in white to add a little bit to that. But I think overall um, Adidas have done a really good job here. Um, I do enjoy this jer uh, jersey quite, uh, quite a bit, so I'm gonna give eight stars here. The away jersey, though, when I saw the initial leaks, um, and even when I look, look at the picture here, 
I don't think it does, doesn't look as bad. Yes, the color is a little bit weird and there's some marketing speak that is just uh, crazy about it. Uh, probably would have even looked better in black if you would have asked me. Um, but it is too stripy. And in match, it looks awful. It really looks awful, uh, especially when they play the Munich or against Arsenal with it. Uh, it is a little bit epilepsy inducing, to be honest, especially the, sh uh, shoulder, the shoulder stripes. Um, and so what I think is an interesting idea, I think it just went too much. I would at the bare minimum get rid of the red stripes in the center of it. And then there's the whole uh, controversy surrounding the sponsor in the league goes within the white stripes and, and so on. But it is just overdone and it looks awful in match. So um, while I do enjoy it this way, I don't enjoy it in match. And that hey, has, has, has a big part for it. I'm going to go only three stars. Uh, but I really love the away jersey uh, or the third jersey, I should better say. Uh, it is simple, but it has again uh, the nice fold over collar. But what I absolutely love is that the devil is allowed to fly on its own. That I think is a great feature. It is probably one more, not necessary for uh, the masses, more for the United fan, but having that, that's pretty cool. I gotta, I, I, I gotta say, maybe if, if there was a little bit more edit, edited on than just the logos in red and the red collar. Could have added a little bit more, but other than that, it's a really nice one. I'm also going to give this eight stars and we're done with group A. We stay in England for the next one with Arsenal, the team that I'm wearing here. The Arsenal home shirt is basically a reverse of the Bayern home jersey with a little bit of gold added in. And then also this flash pattern that we already know from uh, the first Nike series in a way. Then it also had the nice feature on the side to show all the wins from the um, um, uh, undefeated season or the, the, the record, which then was not done correctly, which is a complete blunder on um, our Adidas's part. The shirt looks nice, but I think the pattern makes it too busy. If you get my drift here, uh, but I think it's an overall nice jersey. I Probably prefer my Arsenal a little bit like this with the sleeves, not as raglan sleeves, but in a regular short sleeve, the mother vested look that was originally intended. It again has the uh, nasty white patches uh, on the back under the arms. Uh, but there is something there that is really cool, but it's not Adidas's best effort. I'm going to go seven stars. Uh, then probably the most contentious in there is the away jersey. Um, First of all, the market is big. Uh, the roads around Islington leading to the stadium. Blah, I don't get that one at all. I mean, I've looked at the maps and whatever. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, they just wanted to go out. It has a little bit of a bumblebee look uh, there. I think the black dots are completely unnecessary. I think they add to it, but I also think the color combination is off. You have the black, you have the fluorescent yellow. And then you also have the light blue. Uh, it does not look Arsenal to me. Uh, Arsenal have way bad, bad, better shirts. This is just out there. Uh, there's part of me that wants to like it because of it being so uh, garish. But let's face it, it's not a great jersey. It's not a great jersey. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, two star right here. Um, the third jersey uh, is way more pleasing though. I really like the classic color. I like the you know green and blue. I always say it's probably the most underused uh, color combination in soccer. I like the cannon on its own. So that's all also a great feature. Maybe, maybe the striping in gray uh, just adds a third color that is not really necessary. Um, but that's maybe my only real um, bone of contention. I also find the AFC, uh, although it's always United and uh, especially Bayern as well, but it's off centered and then in white it sticks a little bit too much out for my liking there. But overall, it's a pleasing shirt. Uh, I think this is my favorite of the three of them. I'm gonna go eight here. Moving on to Lars. For Lars, this is one, or probably the only one in this video where you have a dedicated home shirt uh, that they wore for the first time against Arsenal of all teams. Um, I think there's precedent that they're wearing kind of a goldish jersey, although uh, this is more like a red and a yellow mixed together in kind of a almost orangey tone instead of it being gold. Yes, it's supposed to be gold, 
but uh, it doesn't really come across as that. I mean, it's a useful jersey. It's nothing great. It's nothing exciting. It's maybe a little a little bit odd, but I think there has been preparation for last two wearing such special jerseys. Uh, but I'm not a fan, a big fan of it. Let's put it that way. Five stars here. I do like the away jersey, uh, the pinstripe in the club's colors on the black. I think that that's a pretty cool idea, but the same problem as we had for Rapid Vienna, the stripes... Uh, the pinstripes are not evenly spaced in the middle there's a little less space and that doesn't make sense and once you realize that you can't unsee it because everything else is evenly spaced it doesn't make any, any sense this is puma messing a really uh, great look up yes it has too many sponsors but uh, not in the champions league so uh, this is more the league jer uh, jersey i really like this shirt but i'm gonna give it only eight stars because of the weird lines there I also like the away jersey uh, and especially how the sponsor is done. It does not break up the two off-center straps that run through the crest, the uh, blood and the gold strap, but you just outline it. I think it is really smartly done, looks quite well. Um, that the collar changes color on the back, I'm willing to overlook here. I think this is, a, this is also a real winner. Yes, too many sponsors here, agreed in the Champions League. It will not have if this is ever worn. Uh, but I think this is a really, really nice jersey as well. Um, actually, my, I like this better than the away jersey. I'm going to give it nine stars. PSV uh, went for a classic red look this time around. And meanwhile, I'm used to PSV more being uh, a red and white stripes. So this looks a little bit odd, but they were for the longest times wearing exactly this look and even with the shadow striping so i guess it's kind of a step back towards tradition uh the color is nice it's probably not exactly what i would expect from psv jer uh, jersey but i think it is it's it's, it's a quite decent jersey that's i uh, hope we can ag agree with that without being too exciting so i think six stars is the appropriate uh grade here the away jersey makes sense because the home jersey is all red i think it's a smart look with kind of creamy color then also red and uh, a blue i think this looks actually quite nice in match i gotta say um so i'm gonna go with eight here we have a few psv jerseys i'm not so sure about the third jer uh, jersey because it just takes colors that's from somewhere uh yeah interesting but also i don't quite get it to, to, to be so i'm gonna go five because it's just a jersey with a psv crest and nothing else the one that we definitely have to talk about it because a philips sponsor finally on there is of course a celebration jer uh, jer jersey where they celebrate the longest running sponsorship in soccer between philips and psv uh, where they, and you see it here in the promo pic, where they combine all kinds of former kits, which, uh, curious enough, now it's Puma, but they're all Nike kits. Uh, maybe, maybe the one to the left is an Adidas one uh, that I have to check out. But, you know, you see them all kind of mangled together there, uh, which makes for an interesting look. It kind of is consistent with the home jersey. But, yeah, it's... You know, I'm not a big fan of mashup kits, and for that reason... Ah, uh, yeah, five. Let's do it that way. And we'll end it with our first Castori team, Sevilla. I think this time Sevilla, the home jersey looks a whole lot better. And yes, this is the La Liga Liga look. Uh, and I don't know now, do they have a sponsor or not? Um, but I think that that, that even looks nice. The color is maybe a teeny bit odd. I would have gotten rid either of the inset or I would have wrapped it all around. But it's not a bad jersey overall uh but is it is it exciting no it's also also not but I, I think i'm gonna go eight here the away jersey uh, a little bit too psychedelic for my liking but other than that i think it's nice you know you have instead of the red and the white red with gold swirly pattern yeah 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 but it's not not bad. It, it holds holds me. So I'm gonna go six here, and then they have a third jersey which Sevilla actually need, and there is, I think there's an interesting pattern in there. I actually actually like it. Again, they went go with pink. You know, pink sometimes shows up in Sevilla shirts. Uh, I know they need such a shirt, and that's why it totally makes sense to have it. I actually like this better than uh, the away jersey. I'm gonna go seven here, and that finishes part one. Yeah, it's a little little bit longer, but you know. We have to run through a lot of jersey. Please let me know which jerseys you liked in here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon.
Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.